Today we're diving into heartwarming tales and blossoming romances with the best spring hallmark, Rundown. And this movie right here has a storyline that's more twist and turns than any road you've driven. We're talking about Tulips in Spring, a story that's got more layers than a seven layer dip at a Super Bowl party. You two were looking at each other. Tell me you don't feel it and I won't say another word. I will turn around and I will walk away. Our heroine, Rose, played by the charming Fiona Gubelman, is an interior designer who's got her life all mapped out like a perfectly designed living room. But here's the twist. She's gotta swap her fabric swatches for fertilizer when she heads back to rural Washington to help out on her family's tulip farm. Because, you know, nothing says career pivot like trading in city skylines for skylines dotted with tulips. Enter Lucas Bryant, AKA Tom, who's not just any flower shop owner. This guy's got charm and a green thumb, which is basically the rural equivalent of being a rock star. Tom's the kind of guy who can talk tulips and romance with equal ease, making him the perfect storm for our city girl Rose. Now let's talk about romance. It's like watching two magnets do a dance. Sometimes they snap together, and other times it's a comedy of errors that has you laughing and sighing in equal measure. Rose and Tom's love story blossoms faster than spring flowers after a rainstorm, proving that sometimes you find love where you least expect it, like a Hallmark movie set in a tulip farm. And here's some behind the scenes scoops. Stopping and taking pictures of the cherry blossom trees, oh, the daffodils, oh, so and <laughs> that was me oh. trying to make the- Isn't that nice? Oh, it looks so pretty, honey, That's I love so it. But here's where it gets interesting. Rose is faced with the ultimate dilemma, the big city life and career she's always dreamed of, or the unexpected love and tulip covered life in her hometown. It's the kind of decision that's tougher than choosing between Netflix or going out on a Friday night. Tulips in Spring isn't just a love story, it's a journey of self-discovery with a side of humor and a dash of floral romance that'll have you rooting for love, family, and of course, tulips. So grab your favorite snack and prepare to be transported to a place where love blooms as beautifully and unexpectedly as, well, tulips in spring. Because in the end, isn't that what we're all here for? A good love story that blossoms right before our eye. Moving on to the next, welcome to the quirky, heart-fluttering world of Hearts of Spring. He likes you, you know? I haven't felt this way about someone in a long time. Bestie mom, this I gotta see where the battlefield of love is littered with blog posts and tweet storms. Meet our leading lady, a mommy blogger extraordinaire with a large following. She's dipped her toes back into the dating pool, which in today's world is more like diving headfirst into a sea of swipes and likes. But here's where it gets juicy. The man she's falling for in the real world is the same guy she's been trading online jabs with. Talk about your classic plot twist, right? Now, our dashing male lead isn't just any internet troll. He's a single dad with charm that could melt your ice cream on a cold day. Their online banter is as fiery as a summer BBQ, but offline, their chemistry is undeniable, creating a love story with more layers than your aunt's famous lasagna. As our blogger mom navigates this digital age romance, she faces the ultimate question, can you truly love someone who's your sworn enemy in the comments section? It's like discovering your soulmate is the person who always steals your parking spot. Unthinkable yet oddly thrilling. This movie isn't just a rom-com. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions where love letters are replaced with subtweets and heartfelt confessions are hidden in blog posts. It's a modern day love story that proves even in a world of endless notifications, true love can still find a notification to pop up. Hearts of Spring is packed with witty banter, awkward encounters, and moments so sweet they'd put a candy store out of business. It's a reminder that sometimes the path to love is cluttered with a few online arguments proving the pen, or should we say keyboard, might just be mightier than Cupid's arrow. So, will our mommy blogger and her digital nemesis log off for love, or will they let past posts poison their potential? Tune into Hearts of Spring for a story that'll make you want to double tap, swipe right, and believe in love in the digital age. After all, isn't love the ultimate trending topic? Now, pack your marshmallows and prepare for sparks, both from the campfire and our unlikely lovebirds in Campfire Kiss. I made you something. Oh, I love it. This is our last night here. This isn't your average tale of camping woes and wildlife. It's a story where the wildlife meets real life, starring the ever-charming Danica McKellar and the ruggedly handsome Paul Green. Meet Dana Henderson, portrayed by McKellar, 
a math teacher and protective mom who's about as comfortable in the great outdoors as a cat in a swimming pool. Her teenage son, Arthur, is pulling away faster than a band-aid on hairy skin and Dana's solution? A spring break camping trip to bridge the gap, despite her idea of roughing it being a hotel without room service. Enter Paul Green's character, Steve Reynolds, a single dad and outdoors enthusiast who's trying to connect with his teen daughter Lacey amid the turbulent waters of divorce. His idea of a fun family outing involves more dirt and less comfort. When Dana and Steve end up as cabin neighbors, it's less love at first sight and more like a clash of the titans, parent edition. Dana plans her days like a military operation, while Steve's idea of planning is seeing which way the wind blows. It's like watching a GPS argue with a compass, entertaining but doomed to go in circles. Yet, as they butt heads, a spark ignites, proving that sometimes opposites attract like magnets in a physics experiment gone right. As Dana and Steve navigate their way through parenting woes, teenage angst, and the great outdoors, they discover that the path to each other's hearts might just be a trail worth exploring. But with their past heartaches and the fear of opening up to new love, will they take the leap or decide that some campfires are better left to burn out? Campfire Kiss isn't just a story about finding love in the least expected places, it's a reminder that sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone can lead you to the adventure of a lifetime. With laughter, lessons, and a little bit of love under the stars, this hallmark gem teaches us that the best connections aren't found in Wi-Fi signals, but in the shared experiences that bring us closer to those we care about. So grab your camping gear or your remote and get ready for a heartwarming adventure that's sure to leave you smiling, proving once again that love, like nature, finds a way. Next on our list is a movie filled with love, ambition, and a touch of hometown magic in Home by Spring, She's something special. Home by Spring premieres Saturday at 8. Loretta Johnson, played by the radiant Poppy Drayton, is the embodiment of ambition with a capital A. She's swapped her quaint hometown vibes for the glitzy hustle of Los Angeles to chase her event planning dreams, leaving not just her small town in the rear view, but also her sweetheart, Wayne, portrayed by the heartthrob Stephen R. McQueen. Fast forward and Loretta's career is as blooming as a spring garden in full swing. But just when you think she's got it all figured out, fate pulls her back to her roots for a gig that's more personal than she ever anticipated. Cue the dramatic entrance of X-Flame Wayne, and you've got a recipe for romantic tension that's thicker than your grandma's gravy. As Loretta dives into her project, it's like watching a fish rediscover water. With Wayne's unexpected assistance, old sparks fly like fireflies on a warm summer night, illuminating forgotten paths and what ifs. But here's the kicker. Loretta's heart is now caught in a tug of war between her big city dreams and the small town love she left behind. And believe me, I guess they had tons of fun on the sets. Home by Spring isn't just your garden variety love story. It's a tale of rediscovery, sprinkled with humor as fresh as morning dew, and dilemmas as tricky as choosing between two perfectly frosted cupcakes. Will Loretta's heart find its true north, or will she let her ambitions cloud her judgment like a foggy spring morning? Amidst the laughter, the planning, and the occasional awkward run-ins that are more tangled than a string of fairy lights, Loretta and Wayne's journey is a reminder that sometimes, the best things in life are the ones you've left behind. And sometimes, just sometimes, Going back is the only way to move forward. So, grab your cozy blanket and settle in for Home by Spring, where the choices of the heart are as unpredictable as spring weather, proving once again that love, much like the seasons, always finds a way to come back home. Hold on to your tiaras and grab some popcorn because Once Upon a Prince is about to take you on a royal roller coaster that's more twisted than a fairy tale plot. An example? What sort of example would I be were I to abandon the woman that I love? <laughs> You love me even a fraction as much as I love you, and I know we can rewrite tradition. God save the king! God save the king! Susanna, played by the delightful Megan Park, is just your average American gal living in Georgia. Enter Nate, portrayed by the charming Jonathan Kelts, a prince who's probably used to castles, but ends up finding romance in the unlikeliest of places, Susanna's parents' store. It's like a modern-day Cinderella, but with a southern twist. Sparks between them fly faster than fireflies on a summer night, and if fairy tales have taught us anything, it's that when a prince helps you, there's a good chance he might also sweep you off your feet. Now Susanna is living the American dream, or so she thinks, until a photo of her and Nate leaks faster than a sneeze in allergy season. Suddenly, she's thrust into a world of paparazzi, crowns, and more drama than a Shakespearean play. 
Talk about a plot twist that even the bard himself would applaud. But here's where it gets interesting. Nate, now a king in the making, is called back to his kingdom faster than you can say royal decree. Susanna, our unsuspecting American sweetheart, is left wondering if this fairy tale has a happy ending or if she's just been caught in a royal game of chess. Enter Nate's disapproving mother, the queen of skepticism, who's about as thrilled with this American love affair as a cat at a water park. It's like trying to mix oil and water, or in this case, tiaras and cowboy boots. Will Susanna prove she's more than just a commoner, or will she find herself in a royal mess that not even a fairy godmother could fix? Once Upon a Prince is a delightful blend of romance, comedy, and a dash of royal chaos, proving that love conquers even the most regal obstacles. Before moving forward, here's some behind the scene moments for you. Over. Remember our practice. So, grab your crown and settle in for a tale where love reigns supreme, and happily ever after is just a prince and a Georgia girl away. Next up, we're diving into Bottled with Love, a romantic tale that's more buoyant than a message in a bottle bobbing in the waves. I don't want to run anymore. I want something real. Picture this. Abby, played by the lovely Bethany Joy Lenz, gets stood up. Ouch, right? But instead of drowning in heartbreak, she channels her inner poet, pens down her feelings in a letter, stuffs it in a bottle, and sends it off into the vast sea. Talk about recycling emotions. Months later, enter Andrew Walker, our fisherman extraordinaire. He's not just hauling in fish, he's reeling in love letters from the deep blue. It's like a maritime treasure hunt, but with feelings instead of gold. When he stumbles upon Abby's bottled emotions, it's as if Poseidon himself decided to play matchmaker. Now, here's where the tides of romance get interesting. Andrew, intrigued by the letter's siren call, decides to channel his inner adventurer and reach out to Abbe. It's like finding a message in a bottle. Except this time, it leads to a potential love story, rather than a pirate's hidden treasure. As Abby and Andrew navigate the choppy waters of long-distance connections and oceans of emotions, it's like watching a romantic ship set sail into uncharted territory. Will their love withstand the waves, or will they find themselves shipwrecked on the shores of heartbreak? But hold on, because there's a plot twist brewing. Could there be more to this sea-soaked love story than meets the eye? Is Andrew really the charming fisherman he appears to be, or is there a deeper secret swimming beneath the surface? Bottled with love is more than just a romance. It's a tidal wave of emotions, a comedic dive into the sea of love, and a reminder that sometimes, love washes ashore when you least expect it. So grab your life preservers, set sail, and get ready for a love story that's as unpredictable as the ocean itself, starring Bethany Joy Lenz and Andrew Walker in a shipload of charm. So, whether it's romances blooming or mysteries stirring, these films are the real MVPs delivering love vibes fresher than a spring breeze. That brings us to the end of today's video. So which is your favorite spring movie? Make sure to let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everyone.